Hey everyone, it's still Friday. Uh, and I've got some maths for you. So as you can see on the screen, it says fun maths Friday. Um, basically, uh, doesn't mean anything too crazy or anything, uh, but means we're having a little day off from our power maths and white rose stuff today. I think you've been working really hard. So um, today um, we're just going to do some of the online games and things like that. So I think that's pretty good for a Friday. Uh, first of all, though, before I just talk you through the online stuff, um, I want to talk you through this. This is um, one of the pages from your English pack, your Broken Rock Paper Scissors pack. It's all about magic squares. So I thought this is still in our packs. Uh, we haven't used it. And this might be a quite a nice little fun thing to have a go at, a little puzzle to have a go at in our Fun Maths Friday. So basically magic squares, I'm going to go through the instructions on the sheet. It says in a magic square, each row, column and diagonal has the same total. OK, you've got to add them up. And they've all got to make the same thing. Each character is showing you the total for their magic square and also the range of numbers that can be used. So you can use on the first one, it says the total um, for each row, column or diagonal is 15. It's always got to make 15. If you look there, you've got a two, a five and an eight. That, when you add them together, makes 15. Also, it says the range is one to nine. So you can only use the numbers one to nine in that square. Makes sense, pretty straightforward. The next one is rock, a um, slightly bigger square. And he says this time your totals have to be 34. Okay, thanks for that, Rock. And you can only use uh, the numbers 1 to 16 for this one. Okay. And the last one, trickiest one, because he's an evil guy, is Scissors. And he says the total for that square at the bottom has to make 65. Ooh, tricky one. But this time you can use the numbers 1 to 25 for that. So have a go at those. It's a bit of a puzzle. If you look online as well, you might be able to find some more magic squares if you're enjoying those. So that's the first job. Next job are all our online games and activities that you've all got logins for, that you've all been on before. Some of you have been on since we've been in lockdown again, which is great. So you could go on Prodigy Maths, you could go on Times Table Rockstars, or you could go on Maths Factor. They are all brilliant. I really like all three of them. If I had to pick, I'd probably pick Prodigy Maths as my favourite, but it's up to you. You can go on any one of those three, or you might well go on a couple of them. Uh, maths lessons usually last an hour. Maybe if you spend 10 minutes on your math square, then maybe you could do 20 minutes on Prodigy Maths, 20 minutes on Rockstars, and then you've still got another 10 minutes to go on uh, Maths Factor as well. I think that was the right maths. It sounded right. Okay, so all those three things you can go at. And what I'll do... Um, over the weekend, I'll look uh, to see who uh, did the most on Prodigy Maths. You know, when we were doing it in class and I was giving gold, silver and bronze for the people who do the most Prodigy Maths stuff, I'll do that again this weekend and I'll let you know on Monday um, who our winners of that are. So that's quite, that's an extra thing, isn't it? And then one last little thing, it's only a short maths video today. I'm just going to tell you one more little thing, if I can... Uh, do it. There we go. Um, so one extra game I found on BBC Bite Size is Guardians, Defenders of Mathematica. Ooh, sounds exciting. It's a little bit like Prodigy Maths. And like I said, quite like Prodigy Maths. Um, it's another game for you to have a go at. It tests all your different math skills. You get a character. You have to go on a quest. You have to answer lots of maths questions and defeat all these evil guys. Um, so have a look at that. Um, I'll post the link for that page on our class dojo uh, underneath the link to this video. Um, so that's it. That's it for Friday's maths. Have a bit of fun with it. Do lots of uh, good practice on all these different things. Uh, you've worked really hard this week on your maths. Um, so there you go. Um, that's it for today. Uh, I will be back on Monday with some more maths for you. And it'll be back to power maths and a little bit of those white rose puzzles, maybe some flashbacks as well. Okay, have fun with that, everybody.